I think Cars has just destroyed the Pixar theory. Here's how. So before we get into how I think Cars has just destroyed the Pixar theory, for those of you out there that don't know, let me just tell you what the Pixar theory actually is. So it's a massive theory on the internet, it blew up probably quite a while ago now, I'm going to say it was five years ago, it's probably more ten. And basically it says how every Pixar film takes place in the same universe, starting with Good Dinosaur and ending in Monsters Inc. Or Brave. There's like two sort of versions of it. it, it either ends in Monsters Inc or Brave. The important thing is, it basically says Every film in Pixar takes place over a thousand years and tells a story of machines rising and dying, monsters rising, humans having a go, animals talking. It tells the whole story and it is actually a proper coherent theory. I'll link, there was, there's a video on it by the Super Carlin Brothers, that's like the most famous video. I'll also link the original article by John Negroni, I think his name was, if you want to read that. But th that that's the basics of it. But let's go on to how I think Cars has completely shat on this theory. But yesterday, as I'm recording this, was Disney Plus Day. Disney Plus basically just released a bunch of new content onto their streaming site. Thor Love and Thunder got released on there, the live action Pinocchio, but also Cars on the Road, a series of nine short films about the characters from Cars. And it's basically Mater and McQueen going on a road trip across America to see Mater's sister, and they have little stops along the way. They stop at something like a haunted house, they stop at a lake, and in one episode, the first episode, they stop at a dino park. Now, it is at this dino park that it is revealed that there were dinosaur cars. What I mean by this is they had massive, mechanical, dinosaur car lorry vehicle things where their hands were wheels and it was very strange. Now when I first saw this I was like okay maybe they've just like carified what they saw of the dinosaurs and went maybe they weren't like that they were like cars let's change history. Then later on in that episode they show a fossil of one of these dinosaurs and it has wheels and like gears and nuts and bolts and metal structure like it is confirmed in this episode that there are dinosaur versions of cars now at first glance or maybe for someone who's not sad and looks way too deep into the lore of cars this may just seem like a normal thing like that's what the cars franchise does it takes human things and carifies them they take human things and they make them car versions they drink oil the planes can talk, that's what they do, right? That is what Cars does. This does create quite a significant problem for the Pixar theory. Quite a few films have recently come out from Pixar that people have begged the question, this doesn't fit into the Pixar theory, but people have found a way through it. The, the most obvious one was Onward. They were like, this is a different planet, this can't take place, but then they found that one of the axioms from Wally crashed onto the planet, you can see it in the mountain, it now fits, so people have proper found a way to fit. I do, I do not think anyone can find a way for this piece of Cars-ness now to fit in the Pixar theory. That's because we have seen what we would call, we have seen dinosaurs exist in Pixar before this in the good, there's a, there's a film about them, the good dinosaur, where they look like actual dinosaurs, like living organism dinosaurs. So like, what? What? So either there isn't a the Pixar theory has now just been destroyed by an innocent Disney Plus series about cars, or that did happen, but later on in the timeline, perhaps. There's probably someone out there who's much more immersed with the Pixar theory and could tell me, oh, actually, this could fit between this film and that film. It makes perfect sense, but I don't think it does. This leaves us with two totally plausible options. Either I have massively overthinked this and none of it truly matters, or Cars has just debunked one of the biggest theories on the internet, the Pixar theory. Which one do you think it is? It's probably the first one, I'm probably overthinking this, but do let me know in the comments below. Also click here to watch my video on Disney Parks rebranding their rides and changing them and why I think that's actually a good thing. Subscribe here and I will see you at some point. Oh.